with stand-up comedian Chris Martin. After the success of his uh, last year's show, he's back with his new show, Spot the Difference. How are you today? I'm alright. Yeah, good. So I just did a gig downstairs with Michael Winslow. Alright, cool. How did it go? Cool. Just so many cool noises. Yeah. <laughs> I wish the noises that I can't. I should do crappy jokes. Am I allowed to swear on this? Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm not that. Not that crappy is really a swear word. Yeah. Like something like "bang" is the F word. It's very <laughs> bad. Um, yeah. No. So I'm good. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I'm awake. It's really early. It's like midday. Yeah. <laughs> I went to bed at three thirty. So that's the thing. Yeah. That's really um, so are you enjoying things so far? Yes. Yeah. It's good. The shows last night was really fun. The first couple I was just getting my getting into the zone, so to speak. But um, last night was really fun. The audience was really cool. And show I think is good now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. It depends on the audience. They seem to like it last night, so yeah. I'm happy. Right, cool. well, tell us a bit about the show itself. Yeah, the show's called Spot the Difference. Um because uh, you have to come up with the title ages in London. No, it is related to the show. It's um it's kind of just about how I was just people judge you on really weird things now, I think. Yeah. In my circle, it's more like rather than well people used to be kind of more racist, I don't even think people don't really like that anymore. But people now rather than look at race more look at what food you like, uh, what job you do, and like your uh, relationship stages, which I think are all kind of pointless things. It should yeah. be like one, whether you get on with someone within a minute. I, think. If I meet someone, they call me an arsehole within a minute. I'm not like, oh, they're quite a cool person. <laughs> they're correct. But um, yeah, so it's just about that. It's just some silly thoughts I have in my head, which I hope the audience get. Sometimes they look at me like, why did you say that? But normally it's not fun. Yeah. So uh, what job do you think you would be doing if you weren't that? That's a good question. Uh, now that I've done it for a bit, I can't have a normal job because, yeah. like, for me, working at 11 from five this morning was hard. And so I was like, that's too early for me. Most jobs you've got to get up early than that. But um, no, I don't know what I'd be. Um, but yeah, I maybe would have dedicated my life to learning karate and then I'd be a, some sort of martial arts expert. A ninja. I'd be, yeah. well, I don't think you can professionally be a ninja. Can you be a professional ninja? A performing ninja. That sounds like a performing monkey. It doesn't sound as good. It yeah, sounds like it the, it sound like the cast off from the ninja worlds. No, I don't think I could be a, a, a performing ninja. But just something to do. Yeah, maybe I would have dedicated myself to learning the martial yeah. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Yeah. So what was it that made you want to get into comedy? Just uh, thought I was funny. <laughs> when, I, when, I was, when I was a kid, I was just always being a, an idiot, and my friends were like. Making jokes all the time, but oh, and I used to love watching it, so I just tried it. And yeah. then I thought, like, oh, you do like three gigs, and then you'll be like hilarious, but it just definitely takes me way longer than that. Yeah. But uh, so I did it when I went to university and uh, got a degree, which is now wasted just for being set. And uh, yeah, it's all going happy and right at the moment. Yeah, what degree did you do? English literature. Do you want it? Do you want to buy it for you for 12 grand? Because yeah, that's, that's, that's what I wasted on it. No, I guess it's vaguely right. I speak in English words out loud. Yeah. I did so. Yeah. It's not completely unrelated. Um, so, have you had any memorable performances so far or last year at the Fringe? Well, I did late live last night and yeah. uh, I got heckled for about 10 minutes, which was oh, quite funny. Okay. It was funny though, it was good. And then uh, then at the end of the show, one of the, some guys were heckling and punched each other in the face. Which is oh, a bit, which yeah. never really want to hear from a gig. So I got away with it lightly, I didn't get punched by the Yeah. It's rare that that's a positive from a gig, I didn't get punched, but it was a gig. Uh, and also I swapped Jared Christmas, who's, uh, who's before we here, he was MC, and then he did a dance off after I'd already been on. And then I don't know why we decided to do this, he's like, I'm going to pretend I put on his shirt, which was really sweaty, he put on mine, and he's like about four times bigger than me. So I went back on as him wearing his glasses. I was like, hi guys, I thought I was allowed to wait. I don't know why I made that camp, but um, and he came on as me for like a t-shirt to there on his belly, which was, uh, yeah, I've never done that before, that was fun. Yeah, so is that your first year for me No, I did last year that night as well. This All was right. the first one in the festival this year, which is good. All right. So why should people come and see your show? Um, I don't know. Uh, if you like silly, overthought out logic that doesn't really make any sense, then come and watch it. I'm not really sold it that well. Um, <laughs> It's quite, I try and make it quite laugh heavy. I can't really do a show that's like, uh, got like four laughs and I can really, it's really interesting. I don't know, I, get, I need to have a laugh in like 10 seconds. So if you like laughing a lot, that's really, it sounds arrogant. If you like laughing a lot, then people are going to come and go, I'm not laughing a minute, you're rubbing. I actually got a walkout the other day, I shouldn't have mentioned it, but it was a weirdest walkout. I said, um, we've got any vegetarians in? And they're going, yup, he's left. I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm not even slagged them off. I was actually going to be quite nice about them, but yeah. yeah so. Uh, if you don't mind me asking a question, and you like laughing, come to the gig. 
And he just obviously didn't like being asked the question. Yeah. Like, I just came here to watch, not to talk. Right? But yeah. Don't mind talking a bit and laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what sets performing at the fringe uh, apart from performing at different venues? Uh, just the audience are really clued up. They um, they just know comedy, so you don't have to like you do gigs all over the place. People yeah. have never been to like comedy, but everyone's seen comedy. They get it. They've been to shows before, so they um, they just really like clued up. So you don't have to go on there and be like, oh, what do you do for a living? And like really yeah. crappy, unfair stuff. You just come on, just, just you don't have to over explain stuff. You can just know they're on your way, home, which is good sometimes. So, so sometimes they see like nine shows in a day. And I'm like, oh, what another guy talking about big? Not that I do that, but um, you know. That could be their attitude, and I generally agree. Yeah, good. Well, if you want to see more of Chris, you'll be performing at the Gilded Balloon from the 4th until the 27th, apart from the 14th. Uh, okay. Yeah, I get a day off. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Lucinda Shale, and you've been watching Wobble TV.